Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how we can perform DNS spoofing attack using Ittercap. So uh, let me explain you what a DNS spoofing attack is. So basically whenever you type a URL or, or a domain name, for example suppose you have typed google.com in your browser, right? So the google.com will resolve to a particular IP which is the Google's IP and it will display the contents which is hosted on that particular IP address, right? On that particular server. So this is what a normal DNS will work like. But in DNS spoofing, what we are going to do is that whenever someone tries to visit a legitimate website, for example, let's say someone is trying to visit our website, which is bpractical.tech. So instead of the original content, which is hosted on the bpractical.tech's web server, it will be spoofed to our particular machine, uh, our particular uh, web server's content, which is hosted by an attacker. So this is what a DNS spoofing attack is. So let me show you how we can perform this attack in practical. So first thing that we need to do is that we need to modify two files, iter.conf and iter.dns file. So let me show you how we can modify that. So we have to type, uh, click on the terminal and we have to type sudo su and now we have become the root user and now what we need to do is we need to type mousepad and we have to specify the path. So this is the path for iter.con file which is in the etc, itercap and the iter.con file. So we need to modify this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit enter. And now what we need to do is we need to modify two uh, things over here. The first thing is that we need to modify this ec underscore uid and etc underscore gid to zero. And after that what we need to do, we need to go all the way to the bottom. And here we have to remove this hash from the from the Linux category. So what we need to do is we need to remove this and we have to remove this hash from here as well. And all we need to do is just we need to save this file. Now we are done. <coughs> now let me close this file. And now let us try to modify the other file which is the iter.dns file. So I'm going to just remove .con from here and type DNS. So this is the file that is going to handle the DNS records for us. So let's say, suppose I want to do something like whenever someone tries to be visit bpractical.tech, so they will be redirected to my own hosted website. So what we need to do in this case is that we have to, first of all, let me add an ex extra hash over here. Uh, let me get rid of this three and inside this I am going to type the domain name which I want to spoof. So here it is bpractical.tech right and now space and we have to type a which is for a records and after that we need to type our IP address. So we can just go over here and we can type ifconfig and as you can see this is my IP address. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it over here. Perfect. And now we are done in configuring both of this file. Now what we need to do is that we need to start our own Apache 2 server. So before, for, before that I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to visit to my HTML folder section and here I'm going to modify my index.html. So let's say Whenever someone tries to visit bpractical.tech, I am going to show them that hey, uh, I own this website now. Okay, and I am going to save this. So whenever someone tries to visit bpractical.tech, the, the DNS will point to my local IP address, the uh, IP address of the attacker and here we are hosting our Apache 2 server. So the uh, victim will see, hey, I own this website now. Okay, so let me start my Apache 2 server. Apache 2 start. And let us verify whether the Apache 2 server is working or not. Uh, 
and now let me type localhost over here and perfect as you can see the apache 2 server is running fine now let's head back to the victims machine so so this is the victim machine and here we are going to see what is the content of bpractical.tech before any attack so let me go to the incognito mode and i'm going to type bpractical.tech let's see the content of it And as you can see, we get the bpractical.tech uh, default content on this particular bpractical's web server, right? And now let's see what happens when we try to perform DNS spoofing attack on this particular network. So over here we have to type ittercap minus g, which stands for graphical. And now we have to click over here. wait for few seconds and now the first thing that we need to do is that we need to click on stop after that we have to scan for the network for the host which means the connected device <coughs> so as you can see it is showing that five hosts added to the host list and now what we need to do is we need to go to our host section so this is the host list and we have to add all of these devices into target one or either target two so it totally depends on you. I'm going to add on target one. And now we have to go over here and we have to go to plugin, click on manage plugins and we have to double click on DNS spoofing attack. And now as you, as you can see, it is displaying that activating DNS spoof plugin. Perfect. And now what we need to do is that we need to click on this ARP poisoning and we have to click on OK. And finally, we are going to start our attack. So now the DNS spoofing attack is successfully running in this particular local area network. Now let's test it out on the victim's machine. So now I'm going to close my browser. <coughs> and let us try to visit bpractical.tech now. So I'm again going to use my incognito tab and I'm going to type bpractical.tech. And let's see what happens and now as you can see when i visit this bpractical.tech we get the content of the attacker's website which is hey i own this website now so i hope you understand how we can perform a dns spoofing attack in local area network yes please note that this particular attack only works in a local area network since it is a man in the middle attack so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching